What is up my friends? My name is Echo and today we're back with another unbeaten Town Hall 13 base that you have to try. Hall 13 so many defenses to crush your attack but this base is one that is not gonna let you down we have multiple examples today as well as a base link in the description of this video now typically guys most of the bases that I feature here in the channel are out of class champs their champ base division you can get free or paid bases there base packs clashchamps.com use code echo save 10% on any bases you choose but today we're featuring Rai out of Mad Ram, my boy Clash Bashings Clan. So really cool to see a community base coming through. If you would like to submit one of your bases, come through my Discord server and uh, well, let me know that you have something that is sweet. It must be unbeaten and it must not be trash attacks. And this one today is not gonna let us down. This is one of those bases that has the Town Hall and Clan Castle right on the corner back side of the base, Inferno Tower and Heroes. I mean, literally everything jammed in this bottom portion. I fail against this base a lot. And the attack strategy that we're about to see coming in right now is the same one I'm using right now, which Rocky himself actually recommended. The uh, the five lightning, one quake on one scatter shot, five lightning and one quake on the other scatter shot. You're gonna see that coming in really soon. And you would think, you know, these scatter shots, you can get some good value. You can get some cannons down with those as well and really, you know, take out those sections. But even after taking down those scatters, the attackers struggle time and time again to pull in the three star against this base. Many one stars, a handful of two stars, zero triples against this base. What I want you guys to let me know is how would you attempt to three star this base? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember, any base can be three starred inside a clash of clans. It's just the ones that I'm sharing here haven't been yet. Maybe you could be the person to get it done. Coming in with a golem and a bunch of witches on each side up top. Three ice golem, one more ice golem than I'll typically use. Coming on in, and we have the wall wrecker. Getting on into that compartment, going to try and get his way all the way through the base with that hero support as well. Now, we need to identify why is this base so strong, right? Where are the traps? Why is this base able to hold against so many different attack strategies that we're about to witness here today? Stone Slammers, I mean, uh, the uh, Wall Wrecker is getting tied up a little bit with the Tornado Trap. Good use of the Grand Warden's Eternal Tome ability. Worked out nicely, keeping that thing open, allowing more wall to be broken. There we go. He's in. So either way, the Eagle Artillery is going to go down to whatever is in the Clan Castle. But what we want to see, what's in that defending Clan Castle? And I'll tell you what, Super Minions right now are OP in a defensive Clan Castle. And a little hint, that's what we're gonna see in the clan castle right here as well, some other troops. Look at this wrecker, still going in. One more shot and it's gonna open up that wall, allowing access to the town hall, but it's not gonna go down. A couple of uh, sneaky goblins as well coming out, but not enough to take down the town hall, at least yet. We have archers, we have a couple of headhunters, and those, those super minions are gonna be coming out of there as well. And just taking down the troops from afar. Remember, the headhunters are gonna slow down your heroes, Archers are going to spam stuff up a bit, and then those minions, they are going to, from range, take down literally everything. Look at them going right now. So tough to defend if you can't drop a poison right on top of them. Their range is insane, and it makes attacks fail like this with a 77% one star. Just not enough power to push through the entire base, get into the other side. If you want to see the exact composition of the attack, it was a pretty solid looking attack strategy. Just didn't get it done against this base. And the next attack is an Electro Dragon attack, a popular strategy in Legends League, a popular strategy at Town Hall 13, but one that has been coined the two-star strategy because it just has a difficult time pulling in those triples. I'll tell you what, the attacker's doing a nice job here, sending the balloons in first, Coco Loons trying to get rid of any traps and air mines so those Electro Dragons can get as much value as possible. Balloons, a battle blimp coming in, E drags coming behind, a few more loons, and this is pretty good, a pretty good start. But it's not going to take down this base. And a lot of times, you know, they'll grab the two, but this time they only grab the one star, never actually make it to that town hall to pull in the two star. And you have to ask yourself the question why? Why are they so strong and why is this able to be used so effectively? And I'll tell you what, the Electro Dragons, they're like, 
one of the most popular strategies amongst the casual players in Clash of Clans. So right here, we're sitting at 5,500 trophies in Legends League. Not one of the top Legends League people in, in Clash of Clans, but definitely not someone that's a beginner either. You know, you have to be pretty good. You have to get some good attacks and good defenses. Remember, when you're pushing Legends League, the better your defense is, well, the worse your attacks can be because you're not going to be getting three start all the time and you could keep yourself in Legends League. For me, I usually am able to keep myself in Legends League, grabbing myself two stars throughout the day. My bases are good enough and I'm around 5,400 trophies myself. So, uh, you know, Legends League is at least a legit way to see, you know, like these attacks are not from people that are trash. These attacks are, are being done by people that know how to play Clash of Clans and trying to get that champion in there but the single Inferno shut it down. No money for this attacker sitting on a one star because the defense is OP. Ah, reminder, use code ECHO. It'll remind you on my base and up above whenever you buy gems, if you decide to buy a new scene. I mean, look at this. This thing is amazing. By the way, did you guys see the shark in the water? Watch your step. That shark, it's actually a hammerhead shark, will come out and nibble on your toes. <gasps> Hello. The hybrid. This is like the go-to strategy in Clash of Clans, the go-to in Legends League, but the hybrid here is also going to fail. The hybrid here is not gonna be able to pull in the triple. There's actually only one strategy, one common strategy that wasn't used against this base, and that is the Lalo. There was no Lalo representation on attack in any of these here today, but we had a lot of ground stuff. We're gonna even have some Bow Witch in a little bit too, so make sure you stick around. Now we have the queen coming in, a Coco Luna. Notice we have Walter White. Gotta say, I love the name. Let me know if you watched a little bit of Breaking Bad back in your day. Were you a fan of Breaking Bad? I was. Come on, let me know. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, hashtag made it down below. Now look at this. A little bit early. We have the Headhunters being dropped right there out of the defensive clan castle. It was a nice lore, but you're gonna see the hybrid come in maybe a little bit early on this attack. Also, that queen's gonna get herself in some trouble. Those super minions, they are there and they are very much alive. But the queen, oh, the queen. Ability being popped and then she just runs into some trouble. She does have the scatter shot on her. Well, no longer. Now the king, he's going to be running around and you have the baby dragon to follow. I mean, your typical hybrid. This attacker, Walter White, has done hybrid before he knows what he's doing. But here we go, right into that scatter shot with the heal spell and uh, will they be able to get through the scatter or are they going to take too much damage along the way queen being pounded and she goes down so now those healers are going to be going on over to assist with the miners and the hog riders as they path on through a blimp coming right to the town hall all these troops going right into that eagle which is now targeting the grand warden which is actually good you know the, the grand warden is not going to go down from that eagle at least not after one shot the blimp is invincible. It's going to drop right on top of the town hall. And that was a really nice blimp float from the attacker, Walter White. Actually, most most likely coming in with super goblins. Oh, yes. Most likely some super gobs in there. Maybe a yeti as well. It was hard to see what he was actually attacking with or bringing that blimp in with. But he's securing the two star, but not going to be able to get through this lower portion of the base. It's so strong down here in the south that it's hard to push through especially in the final stages of your attack. You know, your troops have died out. Maybe a hero has died out and it's tough to push through this very compact, tight, tough part of the base. I feel like maybe you just lightning and quake the whole darn thing, make it all go away and then go in from the opposite side of the base. I don't know. It won't work. Don't try it. But Super Wall Break is going to open up the wall for absolutely nothing. Good try in the attack. Better defense. You guys should be using the base link down below and test this one out. And you know we had to come in with the Bow Witch, right? It wouldn't be a video without Bow Witch. Another common strategy, a spam and pray type, you know, strategy. That's what they say. I love the strategy. Don't hate on me. But yeah, we have Bow Witch coming in, which again is go. This base is going to defend well against. Notice everyone is going in from the opposite side of the base as well. Everyone fears down below, as they should. But we do have a clan castle lore, at least a partial lore here, trying to see what's inside of there and what's going to come out. We're gonna see uh, how this attacker really plans on taking this one down. Now, a couple of tips if you're gonna be using a base link. You don't wanna come to, a, to come and defend with an internet base, which this now is. This is a base that's gonna be on the internet for everyone to see. Some things that you can do to make this base your own is A, move around the traps. 
B, rotate the base by, you know, 90 degrees. Just turn it, flip it. It's going to look different to other people attacking and it's going to be a little bit more confusing rather than seeing the same exact thing. Third option could be, maybe you'll want to move around a few defenses here and there, nothing crazy. You don't want to move the scatter shot placement, but maybe pull the cannons out of there and put more storages inside so that you can't get that lightning value because lightning is really popular right now. That could be a good move. Or maybe you want to change up the clan castle composition. Maybe put something in there that's going to slow everything down because, well, everyone's going to be expecting the super minions. Give them something different to trick them. I don't know. Just some options right there. The easiest, best option is to rotate the base 90 degrees. It's going to make it look different to people. And to your, you know, general attacker, they're not going to recognize the base. Only some of those classic OGs will be like, oh, that's that base rotated 90 degrees. Most people aren't going to get it, though. So when you do that, guys, don't just copy and use. You have to move some things around or else you are going to be snookered. People are going to know exactly what to get out of the base that you were bringing. Nice job with the free spells, I have to say right here. That wall wrecker is getting in there nice and tight. We have the bowlers going in right behind. Going on the Eagle Artillery is the Royal Champion taking that thing down. And wow, they, I'll tell you what, they're pathing nicely into the Town Hall compartment. The, the record does go down though. And it looks like we got a Yeti bomb coming out of there with two Yeti, a Valkyrie and a, I don't know, a Barbarian or something. And they're gonna go and attempt to take down the Town Hall. With the Grand Warden, who's just a bit far out of range, if the Grand Warden were closer, he could use that Eternal Tome ability. He's going to be using it really soon, and I anticipate it being used right now, or it should be at least. Okay, looks like it was. There we go. Nice use of it. Yet, the base will still hold. Let me know what you guys think of this base. Remember to visit, visit Clash Champs, Champ Base Division, if you're looking to pick up some bases of your own, or share a base that's really good. They have a whole section for that as well. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for more Clash of Clans videos, just like this one. Maybe some that are going to be even better. And if you want to say what's up to me, do it in the comments or over on my Discord. I'd love to hang out, guys. We're actually revamping, remodeling the Discord server and going to make it even more OP than it is. I mean, I'm a Discord partner. I need to have a even more OP Discord server. So I want you guys to come through and hang out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below and tell me how you're going to attack this base. Check out this one before you go. Here we go.